YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraven here with another video and in this video boy that was a game uh shout out to the Raiders for putting the AFC North and just really the whole NFL on notice they took care of my Ravens last week in a crazy crazy overtime game they took care of Pittsburgh this week and which was a, still a crazy game not nearly as crazy as last week but it still had a lot of drama in there and now that they're, they're undefeated they're undefeated. Their record is 2-0, and uh, and they are undefeated against the AFC North so far. We'll see how it continues to hold up. Um, this game was just another reminder for the NFL world that Derek Carr, yeah, he's for real, man. He's for real. Uh, honestly, I, I was somebody that's been overlooking Derek Carr for a while now. I knew he was a decent quarterback, but, yeah, he's much better than just decent. Um, this guy has the clutch factor. He got it. He got it, like, straight up, man. Um, and, and one thing one thing that really frustrated me uh, when I watched my Ravens play them last week was I just felt like there was just such a lack of second-half adjustments by our defensive coordinator. But now when I watch this game, it reminds me that I got to actually give more credit to the Raiders coaching staff for making just great second-half adjustments, especially on offense. Because in the first half of this game against the Steelers, Derek Carr, uh, he passed for, I think, maybe a little over 100, uh, either a little over uh, 150 yards or maybe a little less than 200 yards. I forget the exact amount, but he didn't have any touchdowns. He didn't have any interception, but he didn't have any touchdowns. But then in the second half, he ended up throwing two touchdowns, and it made such a big difference. And the touchdown throws... They were clutch because the Steelers were they were scratching and clawing their way back into the game. Um, of course, uh, Ben Roethlisberger hit Najee Harris, and he boy that that dude he wasn't playing around today, boy. Especially with that with that stiff arm that he gave to Jonathan Abram, and like like you think like that stiff arm was so nasty, and then it made it even nastier that it was to Jonathan Abram because Jonathan Abram can hit, man. He can hit. Like, even the last play of the game, and hopefully with Deontay Johnson, that injury, that doesn't end up being anything serious, anything long-term. Because that that would be such a big blow for Pittsburgh, and that would be just such a, a terrible way to go out. When the game is essentially over, there was only five seconds left, and Deontay Johnson caught the pass from Roethlisberger and just trying to make something happen. Uh, but he gets hit, and then he gets injured on, like, the second-to-last play of the game. So hopefully, again, it ends up being nothing. Um, but with Jonathan Abram, that, that dude, he is a monster. So when Najee Harris gave him that stiff arm, uh, yeah, he, he took that personal. Uh, but he ended up, and him and the Raiders ended up getting the last laugh. Uh, but that was a great play by Najee Harris. Um, he just, he runs hard, man. He runs tough. And a lot of the runs where it was the, the end of the run, he wasn't even on the ground. The, the, all the Raiders just ganged up on him and they stopped for progress. So, shout out to Najee Harris, man. Uh, you, you see in this game, games like this, even though they didn't win, but you see why he was a first round draft pick uh, for Pittsburgh. Now, um, Derek Carr, while the Steelers, they, they were clawing back. And, I, and the, the whole Trey Turner thing, I'm not sure what happened with him because it's, it had to be something bad because the way that, the, how heated he was. He was upset. Like, you could tell, like, this dude was hot. I don't know what happened. Uh, we all did see the, the whole spit, he, and he kept going back, and he kept going back, and he kept going back. Then finally he went to the sideline. But it, it had to be something. Like, them, them Raiders had to do something. Because for you to get somebody to spit at you, that takes a lot. And not excusing the spit at all. I, again, we don't know what happened. Um, but it, it takes a lot for somebody to go that far. Uh, but... He'll he can be expecting uh, a nice little letter in the mail from Roger Goodell, uh, so we should probably hear about that probably about by Thursday, Friday at the latest. Um, but with uh, to close it out, that touchdown pass to Rugs, man, that was beautiful. And watching it live, Minka Minka Fitzpatrick, and and it makes sense why, but he was watching Darren Waller. He was watching Darren Waller, and Derek Carr read that. He knew that, and he held him. He held him with his eyes. He's like, okay, you're going to watch Darren Waller? I'm going to watch Darren Waller too, but I do see Henry Ruggs getting ready to burn his cornerback up top, and he's getting ready to burn you too. So he threw the perfect pass. And then with that pass too, my favorite part about that pass is that he had a rusher. 
I think they I think Steelers might have blitzed the cornerback, but they blitzed somebody, and that rusher was right in, right at in Derek Carr's face. Derek Carr stood there, stood in the pocket, didn't move, didn't flinch, didn't get scared. Oh, I got rugs. Okay, let's go. Launch it to him. Perfect pass. Hit him in stride to where rugs didn't need to slow down. Because had rugs had to slow down for that pass, then it could have ended up just being a completion instead of a touchdown. Or the Steelers uh, cornerback could have ended up catching up with it and knocked it out. So so much stuff could have went wrong on that play. But the fact that Derek Carr stood in the pocket, made the perfect pass, and, and Henry Ruggs obviously caught it in stride and ran for a touchdown. That It was just a, a perfect play. And that stretched out that lead. Now, um, when we talk about coaching, because coaching is huge, man. I... Um, for Steelers, it like it, it, it technically it kind of worked out, but really in the long run it didn't. I had questioned them in the fourth quarter. They were down by nine points. First down, second down, third down. They they end up getting a total of nine yards uh, through the first three downs, and it was fourth and one. And how many, how much time was left? Uh, I want to say like maybe like seven, eight minutes, something around. I forget how much time was left, but it was fourth quarter. You're down by not you're down by two scores. And this Raiders offense, why they haven't been scoring so much? They still been pretty much controlling this game. And Steelers punted the ball. I just I I didn't agree with that. And again, like I said, they ended up stopping the Raiders. They on the following drive, the next Raiders drive, they they forced a three and out. But still, that clock kept going. So you lost a lot of valuable time. You lost a lot of valuable time. Um, so I just I, I didn't agree with that move. Uh, and and if you agree with it, I can understand why. Because, again, like I said, they, they still got the ball back. And if you disagree with it, I can understand why. Because, again, they were down by multiple scores and the, the clock was ticking. Um, now, for Raiders, when they really closed it out, like their last drive, um, they ran the ball, I think, on first down. I, I love how they didn't do the predictable thing. They didn't do the obvious. Nowadays, teams, uh, to, to really kill the clock, to end the game, teams are throwing more now than ever. Um, Because, you know, it's a passing league and whatnot, like they always say. The teams are throwing that ball now more than ever. But I just loved how to close out this game. They ran the ball with number 31. I forget what his last name is. But they ran the ball with 31. Got a couple yards. Okay, cool, whatever. But then I think it was second down. Derek Carr snapped the ball, dropped back. And hit Darren Waller. He threw to Darren Waller. And I'm like, whoa, these boys, these, these are big boys. They, this is a man's game right here. They ain't playing no little boy football, man. These dudes are not coming in playing scared. They're not like, oh, man, we don't want to risk it because Steelers might. They said, no, we are going for We going for the kill shot because we trying to take Pittsburgh out because we know that Pittsburgh can, they can make some big plays happen. Like we saw that that big pass to uh to Chase Claypool. And I think that was uh right was that before the Juju uh before the Juju touchdown? No, that was way after the Juju touchdown. Um but we saw that they they just a couple of drives before that they saw that big that big pass to Chase Claypool. Um and, and they saw the, of course the pass to Najee Harris that went for for the touchdown. So they they know Pittsburgh can make some big plays happen. Um so they were like, "Nah, we nope, let's go ahead and end it right here right now. We ain't gonna mess around." And they didn't, and they got it. They converted, and they got another win. So these Raiders are, are, are for real, man. They are for real. I, I know a lot of Ravens fans like, last week, oh, last week was a fluke. It, was a, it wasn't a fluke. And that was even before this game happened. It wasn't a fluke. Raiders won. Raiders beat the Ravens last week. They earned the win. They deserved the win, and they got the win. And this week, they beat the Steelers. They took care of business. They beat them. They earned it, and they deserved it. So Raiders, they getting ready to go back home, and they sitting pretty at two and zero. Now there's still 15 games left because it is a long ways to go, and boy oh boy, because football season it goes by too fast, right? Now, so take take every game in, please. Take every game that you watch, take it in, appreciate it, enjoy it, because it goes by so fast. Like right now, it's, it's early. It's early, and we like, oh yeah, no, it's the beginning of the season. It's two games, it's week two. Da -da -da -da. It flies by. Y'all know it. Um, but anyway, appreciate y'all, man. T.J. Watt, him getting put out the game due to injury, that was a big blow for the Steelers because he forced, he hit Derek Carr earlier, and I, he yeah, he forced a fumble. He forced a fumble. 
And he, um, when you lose one of the best pass rushers in the league, yeah, it's definitely going to hurt your team big time. Uh, now, there, there was also that injury scare with Derek Carr. Where it was looking like, uh-oh. There was a lot of injuries around the league today. Like, it was just wild today. Um, but he obviously ended up coming back in the game. And he made all the difference in the world uh, in them closing this one out. So, anyway, congrats uh, to the Raiders. Um, now the Steelers are 1-1. One one. The Browns are 1-1. One one. The Bengals are 1-1. One and, one. and the Ravens, they play tonight. Right now they're 0-1. But it would be very nice if, if they can all match the rest of the AFC North's record. It's going to be pretty hard because you got the Chiefs. But it's not impossible. Anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I will see you tonight for the Ravens and Chiefs live stream. Team, keep it clean. We out.